I'm Megan Sampson of Megan the Wheelers. I've been thinking back what you asked. We're a country western band here in Chicago. We kind of play old school, like classic honky tonk music, but we're like neo traditional. So we have like kind of a feminist edge. Um, I got Will Phelan on pedal steel guitar. My drummer is called Matt Ciani. My bass player, Brian Weekly, and my backup singer, Amy Meyer, is my best friend. I do, I do, I do not want to marry. I'd be the better to your worst. Ain't that the truth? anyone could tell we live a life of sickness and hell. I swear to you, it's the truth. I don't want to marry. So, I grew up listening to country music because my dad listened to country music. As a teen, I feel like I kind of rebelled against that, so I listened to a lot of like kind of more punk or like indie pop. I loved the yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like obsessed with Karen O. Nowadays, I feel like I kind of went back into country because I'm playing a lot more of it. Margaret Price, I've been drawing inspiration from since I've heard of her, which was like 2016 when she came out with Midwestern Farmer's Daughter. I'm also a huge fan of The High Women. I love The Chicks, Shania Twain, Casey Musgraves all the way, just feed it into my veins. Love women in country. All right, rule of thumb is if someone's dancing next to you, you gotta dance too. Yeah. <laughs> Real talk in terms of inspiration, I was playing Bar in the Divorce at a variety show slash like open mic kind of style thing. And this man came up to me and he was like, are you on Spotify? I need to hear this song again. Like I straight up cried hearing this song. And I was like, oh my God, I thought this song was funny. So it was like a surprise to me that it could like elicit any sort of other experience other than like how I had written it, which was like, this is just kind of like coming out of a journal, but also as a humorous like song. And I was like, shit, I should be on Spotify. This guy told me I should be on Spotify, I should be. band's latest EP, Midwest Best, is um, a culmination of a couple of songs that we had been playing pre-pandemic and then a couple of songs I wrote post-pandemic. And I feel like coming to this EP is about saying like, I am my best self when I am being me and also being like, fuck you to the haters. I don't care what anyone else thinks or says about me, I am moving forward. And I needed that desperately to move forward with the band. Since I started playing, we had a couple of dream gigs. Uh, and it was like, I want to play The Hideout. I want to play Carol's Pub because I used to get drunk there every freaking Thursday night. 
and I want to play the empty bottle. And those were the three that were like on the top of my list. And so we got to play the empty bottle and then we played the hideout and it was awesome. We played Carol's Pub and I was just like, okay, check. Wow, I guess I gotta get some bigger dreams. <laughs> Ooh, what's next for the wheelers? Um, we're just playing gigs, trying to like move around, maybe play some out of town and spread the word. We're just trying to, to do our Midwest best. Does she